Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. In the first video in our KB series, we determined this particular motor needs a brake adjustment. So today, in this video, we're going to show you how to make that adjustment. We're going to begin at the back of the motor. We're going to begin accessing the adjusting nut that's on the motor shaft by removing the louver at the end of the motor. KB Motors' distinctive feature is it has a louver held on by four screws around its perimeter, and that's a defining feature to know that you have a KB model motor. We'll begin using a flat blade screwdriver and removing the screws that hold on the louver. We loosened the four screws holding the louver to the brake cap. We removed three of them. The fourth screw we left in place we rotated the louver out of the way and tightened the screw as a clamp just to hold the louver out of our way. That way we remove less parts. Once the louver is removed, we can see that there's an adjusting nut that's tapered and has a split in it that actually holds the brake disc to the motor shaft at a set point in the thread on the shaft. The design of the tapered nut locks into the thread and keeps the relative position of the brake disc at that point. We have to move the tapered adjusting nut in relation to the shaft. The thread is right hand thread, so once we loosen the four clamping bolts, we have to rotate the adjusting nut counterclockwise. The pitch of the thread happens to be the maximum to minimum brake adjustment range. So the common adjustment, if you're keeping up, is one revolution of the adjusting nut on the thread. The slang for that is a four-hole adjustment. But notice, on the adjusting nut, there is a fifth tap hole. The fifth tap hole is used for a jack screw break the disc loose from the tape around the nut. Motors that are well used will have that well seated. So you'll have to take one of the four screws you've removed, put it in the fifth hole, and use it as a jack screw to pop the disc off of the tapered nut. After we've made our adjustment by turning the tapered adjusting nut, We'll put two of the clamp screws back in and test. Then we'll go for all four screws when we're happy that we have a proper adjustment. We'll put our fan louver back in place and then verify our axial displacement measurement as the last step. We made our adjustment and now we have half the amount of our axial displacement, which is what we were going for, reducing it to 1.50 millimeters. Please look for the next video in our KB Motor series, which will show how to replace the brake ring when it's required. We figure there's enough lining to do three regular four-hole, one-turn brake adjustments, as we showed in this video. On your fourth visit, plan to take a new brake ring, and please look for the third video in the series.